Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another blooper video. I wanted to give this one context because it needs it. So about seven, six months ago, I was asked by uh, Gaming Quito as I went to one of his videos to go see how his name is said because I've never remember how to say his name. <laughs> uh, oh man, people with their different language names. But damn it, I'm working on it. So Gaming Quota asked me to be a part of a Dragalia Lost. Thank you for the community. Um, I was very honored to be selected among it, just because I think that that was the only time I had ever been asked by anyone in Dragalia-wise for my opinions on Dragalia. So I spent basically an entire night recording the entire thing, and uh, it took a lot of tries because I'm not very good at trying to say what I want in one go. And this was supposed to be a very heartfelt kind of like, yeah, the Dragalia community gets together. So it actually took me a lot of tries. And the funny thing is, is that if you actually look at the video, it's 21 minutes long. I think I'm the the, the biggest part. My <laughs> big white is over three minutes long compared to everyone else. <laughs> Uh, which is pretty crazy. I think Akim, uh, Akim, uh, now I'm, damn it. Asimil? Akimil? Damn it. I, how do I not know? I'm gonna have to figure out how you say your name too. One moment. Pause. It's Akum DL. Why don't you just call yourself Alchemist DL? Anyway, doesn't matter. The point is, here's basically all the outtakes I had from it. If you ever want to, if you ever want to see a back, behind the scenes of what how does Wilkie treat himself when recording for Wilkie Dialogue, this is it. So enjoy it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me what's your favorite mess up, and man, strap in. This one's going to take a while. All right, and go. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Purple Wilkie, and I do YouTube stuff. Uh, I guess, oh, God, why am I so bad at this? Uh, hello everyone, I'm Purple Wokey. Um, I'm a YouTuber on YouTube.com. Oh god, why am I so fucking stupid? Hello there everyone, it's me Wokey. No, you god fucking damn it! Hello there everyone, it's me. Uh, I swear to god, I'm gonna get one of these right. God, god fucking damn it. Hello there everyone, it's I'm. Um, Hello everyone, I'm Purple Wookie and I am a YouTuber on YouTube.com who plays Dragalia along with a bunch of other games like uh, Fake Grand Order, uh, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, and anything else that really just comes into my head. Uh, so as I said, I do a lot of Dragalia stuff. I've been around making Dragalia videos since pretty much close. Um, to the launch of the game. I used to come from the Dokkan side of things and then I kind of ended up just recording a bunch of videos on Dragalia and I just want to say you know thank you to the people who one play the game for accepting someone as kind of nutty as me and also the devs for making the game that I love to play so much. Um, like I said, I came from the Dokkan side of Gacha Gaming, and you know, it can be a little bit weird to me because I always came from a world that the only thing people cared about really is like, how much damage does everything do? How can you do, you know, blah blah blah. Um, so it's kind of nice to be kind of accepted into a Gacha community that is down for it's like, yeah, this guy just wants to screw around and make weird videos with whatever he's really feeling, and he puts big the cat music over um, f fighting a giant cat and we're perfectly fine with that and we accept him for what he is um, hello there uh, I'm purple Wokey and I'm a uh, youtuber on YouTube that covers games such as <sighs> covers isn't the right word for what I do because I fuck around Hello everyone, uh, I'm Purple Wookie and I'm a uh, YouTuber who makes a bunch of videos on Dragalia Lost, Fake Grand Order, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, basically any game that kind of draws my attention I make a video on and I've been making Dragalia videos basically since the game came out. Um, it's I came from specifically a gotcha side of YouTubing uh, from back in the day. The, 
Dokkan style stuff. Um, I used to be a mod on the Dokkan Reddit. I'm still friends with a lot of dudes who make a lot of bunch of con- Dokkan content, um, and I used to make it uh, myself. And I ended up stop. I ended up. <laughs> I'm getting better at it. Don't worry. Hello everyone. I am Purple Wookie, and I'm a YouTuber on YouTube.com that plays video games. Yeah, yeah, that's what you fucking are. You Hello everyone, I'm uh, Purple Wokey. I am a YouTuber who makes videos on games that he loves. Uh, Dragalia Lost, Fake Grand Order, uh, Shonen Jump Board Collection Before It Died, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, like I said, anything that interests me. Um, I kind of started making videos around the time Dragon Ball Z Dokkan came out. I used to be a Reddit mod, I used to do something on there called Modcast. Um, where I covered a bunch of Dokkan stuff, and eventually I fell out of love with, I guess, making that style of video. Um, that's a lot of backstory for one dude, man. Did I really fall out of love with Dokkan? I don't know. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Purple Wookie, and I'm a YouTuber who does a bunch of videos on games he loves. Dragalia Lost? I don't know why I said that so weird. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Purple Wokey and I'm a YouTuber who does a bunch of videos on a variety of games, Dragalia Lost, Fake Grand Order, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, uh, anything that really come, catches my attention and I've been making Dragalia Lost videos kind of since the beginning. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I am. Man, I can't believe that's actually what I am. Why did you do such a perfect intro just to completely be... Hello there, I'm Purple Wookie and I'm a YouTuber on YouTube.com. Why do I keep doing that? It's such a bad way of interesting. Hello everyone, I'm Purple Wookie and I'm a uh, YouTuber on YouTube that plays a bunch of games that he loves. Jigalia Lost, Fake Grand Order, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, basically any game that I'm super interested in at the moment, I will gladly do videos on and I will continue doing them until the end of time. Um, I started making Dragalia videos pretty close to the launch of the game, and I've always been kind of doing my own thing, making videos for Dragalia that specifically, I guess, I like, and I'm kind of surprised that a bunch of people actually like me for those specific Dragalia videos. It shocks me even to this day. I've always felt very welcome to the Dragalia community. Um, I came from a Dokkan, I used to be, I'm still technically in the Dokkan community, I guess. Um, but in that community, it was kind of focused on, a lot of the videos you end up seeing from there is a lot of, like, combat focused, a lot of, like, there's not a lot of fun that you can have in Dokkan battle nowadays, because it's kind of been solved. And I've always been very surprised, and every time I tried to make a fun video in Dokkan, it, it wasn't liked. Um, and to be fair, not every single one of my, uh, Dracalia videos has been liked, but I've always felt that the community itself has always welcomed me and my weird, weird way of showing videos and doing stuff and have never actually given me any trouble. Um, so I just kind of want to say thank you to everyone out there in the community. I think the Dragalia Lost community is a very, very special community that, um, and especially with how bad of a year we've had, it's more now than ever. It's a good time to kind of get lost into a gacha game, kind of, especially one that has been so lovingly updated when so many other gotchas have kind of failed to update uh, this year. Because, you know, it's been a very tough year. Um, and the fact that the Dragalia devs have been able to keep the game running with very few hitches in the road, a couple of hitches here and there, nobody's perfect, but they've always been um, super, for, uh, super upfront with everything, uh, with what they've done, and I appreciate them a whole bunch about it. Uh, so one of my favorite moments from Dragalia Lost this year was actually the anniversary because the anniversary event itself was this huge culmination of kind of everything that you've kind of been wanting in Dragalia Lost like it's hard to describe in words because it's it's it goes beyond the story it's a feeling of like when you hear the song when you're fighting the boss it's like oh, it's so good and I can't believe I can't put it into words. <sighs> Let me do it. Hello everyone, I'm Purple Wilkie and I am a 
video content creator, I guess is a nice way of putting it. Um, of a bunch of different video games, specifically I guess Dragalia Lost, Fake Grand Order, Lightspeed Rescue, basically anything that I'm super interested in, I will gladly continuously make videos for it. Um, on the Dragalia side, I've been making Dragalia videos um, pretty much close since it launched. I was, I've been a very big fan of it. I've been through it through some rough times of it. I mean, it's been some crazy years in Dragalia. I don't think anyone can kind of deny how crazy it was that Dragalia started the way it did. And then for it to kind of be in the current mood that it is, and it's a forever changing game that will continue to get better and sometimes stumble along the way. Please bring back tickets. But it's always, I've always felt extremely appreciated by the devs. Even when the devs have made mistakes in some ways, I've always felt that um, they've been very forefront to listening to our feedback. Um, and it's crazy that in this year that so many things are happening and that they're still keeping the game running as it is. So big, big thanks to all the devs for the work on uh, Dragalia for sure. And of course to the community itself for accepting someone who is so much not doesn't want to be the Dragalia guy or the gotcha guy in general who is only interested in really big powerful stuff. I've always kind of felt like my specific style of video has never been about how good is a unit but more it's how fun is a unit. And coming from Dokkan specifically um, where kind of the fun of a unit is never actually thought of in the equation, I've always really loved how the community has kind of accepted my weird niche style of video making and videos in general. Not all of them have been appreciated. I've made a couple stumbles here and there, but they've never told me directly to my face that I was a bad person, so gotta love them for that for sure. I've been told to my face by other by Dokkan community. <laughs> I digress. Anyway, my favorite moment for Drag Dragalia Lost this year was definitely the anniversary. It was the big boss battle. It was the song specifically, We Are the Light. As it's I, I cannot tell you why, because I can't express it in exact words, but when that music s swells up and you hear them going like, He's a... It's, it's, it's such a moment that's like, oh my god. I wish I remembered everything. I can't even remember the specific words that they say because it's not the words that are important to me. It's the feeling. It's the specifically the feeling that we've been here for two years. That the game is continually going. There was like a good month when six months in, I wasn't even sure Dragalia was going to continue. Um, and that was proven so wrong and I loved every single minute of making anything. And really, what I look forward to in Dragalia in 2021? A Mimalt. <laughs> so that's it for me. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. I don't know. If... Hello, everyone. I'm Purple Loki, and I'm a video content creator for for burping. Hello everyone, I'm Purple Loki and I make videos on YouTube. Uh, Dragalia Lost, Fake Grand Order, um, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, basically anything that interests me I will gladly make videos for it. And I have been making videos for Dragalia Lost since pretty close to the launch of the game. Um, it's been a crazy year this year, um, and specifically for everyone out there. and. To the community of Dragalia itself and to the devs, I want to say thanks for being there. Um, you know, as the world kind of is what it is in its current state, it's nice to have a game and also a community that loves the game equally as much that can continuously push forward and kind of be like, it's admirable. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not the greatest when it comes to words, but I will try and at least speak from the heart. It is admirable. What? What is the word? Hello everyone, I'm Purple Wookie and I do video content on any game that I love. Uh, Dragalia Lost, Fate Grand Order, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. The list is vast, various, and you can sometimes argue if there any of them are good. But I know for a fact that uh, Dragalia Lost is good. 
I know it because I've grown, I've been making videos for Dragalia since basically the start. Um, I've always been a kind of weird offshoot, at least I've always felt that way. Um, but the specific people in the Dragalia community that have found me, and I've always talked to, have always been extremely nice, and it's that kind of nicety um, that is extremely appreciated in the year 2020, especially with all the things that are going on. Um, I also want to thank the devs of Dragalia themselves for keeping the game going. So many other gotchas, and rightfully so I guess, um, have definitely stalled out in content, but the Dragalia team has always kind of pushed forward and at least tried their best to keep us entertained during this extremely rough time. And while, you know, you could easily dis disagree with a lot of the decisions the devs made, you can always, you've always, I've always felt personally that the devs have always had a love for this game and um, they share our specific love for the game as well um, so I want to say thanks to both of them especially again the the devs for making a game that allows someone like me who just loves units and uses whatever they want um, allows me to make videos on whatever th whatever thing I want and for one another Edragalia community to exist that isn't a hundred percent um focused on pure raw power and is fine with someone a an aid I don't know the right word for it. It's, uh, <laughs> I might get this one day. We just watch. Hello everyone, I'm Purple Wilkie and I do video stuff on YouTube. Uh, mostly Dragalia Lost, Big Grand Order, uh, Power Ranger Lightspeed Rescue. That's not accurate, I don't make a bunch of Power Ranger Lightspeed Rescue. Hello everyone, I'm Purple Wilkie and I make uh, video stuff on YouTube. I make a variety of videos, Dragalia Lost, Big Grand Order, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. It's a bunch of games that I specifically love. Um, and there's no game specifically as much as I love as... Uh, Dragalia Lost. I've been making videos for it since basically, basically since the game came out, um, and I've been thankful to be involved in such a community. Um, for one, a community that accepts me, even though I most of my videos aren't something that's about being super power happy and strong. I barely do some of the hard content, but it seems that people still come to my videos, give a nice, give a nice happy comment and I don't know what I'm doing anymore. What is my life? I'm gonna get this. Hello everyone, I'm Purple Wilkie and I do video stuff on YouTube, specifically on games that I like and love. Dragalia Lost, Fake Grand Order, uh, Power Rangers Like Speed Rescue, you can take a guess which one of the love sets like is that game. Um, but basically any game that I really like, I'll make a video on it. Um, Hello everyone, I'm Purple Wilkie and I do YouTube videos on YouTube. Um, Dragalia Lost videos, Fake Grand Order videos, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue videos, basically any video that I feel like making I will gladly make a video on. Um, and Dragalia is one of those. I've been making Dragalia videos since the game came out. Um, and I continue to make them and I will, chances are, always make them until the game is gone. Which hopefully isn't for an extremely long time. Um, I want to thank the community itself that has accepted me, even though I'm not the person that's like constantly going out there doing the hardest Aguido fights, uh, trying to get 30 second clears, that's not the kind of person I am. I'm a kind of person that kind of has fun with whatever unit they have, still uses units that aren't the best, and it seems like a, the community has accepted that. It's very nice to come to a community that isn't constantly fighting about what is the strongest, and maybe that's the part of me that... Uh, comes from the Dokkan side. I thought all gotchas were like that. I'm happy to report Dragalia really isn't like that, at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, I also want to thank the devs for being able to make a game that continues to bring me enjoyment in the year 2020 when there's not a lot of things to enjoy in the world right now. Um, the fact that they continue to work hard um, and have a love for the game and a vision for the game that can be... I guess changed is the right word because they love the game for sure but they that <laughs> we also love the community itself in Galia also loves the game and I feel like those two are, are at odds and yet somehow 
we've kind of figured out a way, to, way, a way to make a community where both sides are happy in the agreement in some ways. So I'm very thankful to be involved in a community like that. Um, in terms of Jugalia Lost in 2020, my favorite moment for it has been definitely been the second year anniversary fight where we are the lightest playing. Now, I don't remember ex specifically all the words that are said during the fight, uh, the final fight in the second year anniversary raid event. Um, my memory isn't the greatest. I can definitely have uh, some memory issues, especially as I get older, I guess. Um, no, I'm getting there though. 